Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing? So please don't leave. Blessings. Blessings on this morning. It is day 44. Blessings. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on here. Blessings. Hello, hello. It is day 44. We are almost there. I'm celebrating. Come on here. We are almost there. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Good morning. Hello, hello. Listen, it is day 44. Come on. I don't know about you. I'm excited about you. Father, we just thank you for this is a day that you have made. And we are rejoicing and be glad in it. Why? Because you are our daddy. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much. Day 44, we lift it up to you, Father. We are one more day away from the completion of this 45-day spiritual, physical, fitness journey. In Jesus' name, cover me, Father. Listen, I got to I gotta listen to my song just for a minute. Y'all bear with me. How y'all doing? Come on here. This is day 44. We doing it for Jesus. Come on here. I don't know about you. I don't ever want the Father to leave me. Come on. I'm celebrating your kingdom purpose. Oh, 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 oh. I'm celebrating the God in you. Yes, you. Come on here. The Father has his hand upon your life. Come on here. Come on here. The Father has his hand upon you. Good morning. You got to know your value and your worth in the kingdom. Come on here. If you don't know it, how somebody else going to know it? Come on here. I promise you, if you don't run, I'm fired up. It's day 44. One more day. Come on here. Sometimes you need to take the time to just celebrate others. And I'm just celebrating y'all these last couple of days. Come on. Come on here. It's a Holy Ghost party. Come on. Y'all don't want to praise him with me. I'm celebrating you. Come on here. You have a God-given purpose. You have a kingdom assignment. I don't know about you, but he done brought us through too much to forsake him. Come on here. Because he have not forsaken us. He have not forgotten about us. Listen. Come on here. Come on here. The Father is awesome. He's amazing. Come on here. Wait a minute. Listen. Yes. I'm getting ready to give y'all, y'all, y'all scripture. Y'all ain't got to run on me this morning. I promise you, I got your scripture. I got your word for the day. Come on here. Sometimes we just need to celebrate. Listen. The scripture for today is Habakkuk 2 and 2. Then the Lord answered me and said, 
write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. You better write the vision and make it plain. Are you hearing me? Now let me read my reflection. Maximize every moment and execute a plan of action. You must not only talk the vision, you must breathe it, live it, believe it, and work it. Who am I talking to? Can I tell you something today? Habakkuk 2 and 2 say write the vision and make it plain. But let me tell you something. Don't just talk the vision. Believe in the vision. Execute the vision. And work the vision. Come on here. God has put something on the inside of you. Are you hearing me? It is execution time. Are you hearing me? You done wrote it down. You done wrote the vision down. You done made an announcement that the vision is coming to pass. But can I ask you something? Are you willing to work the vision? I don't know about you. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Write the vision. Make the vision plain. Now it's time to execute it. Are you willing to execute the vision? Come on here. If you're going to get fit for your kingdom assignments, there are some things on the inside of you that you have put to the paper. Are you hearing me? It is time to work it, baby. It is time to get to work. Come on here. I don't know about you, but I'm telling you there's creativity in you. Come on here. Come on here. You done made this announcement. What you said is I am fit for my kingdom assignment. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Not only am I fit for my kingdom assignment, I'm going to work it. Ha <laughs> ha. Lord have mercy. Come on here, baby. Not only are you fit for it, baby, it's time to work it. Are you willing to work your kingdom assignment? Yay! Come on here. Lord, have mercy. Ah, yeah, Let me tell you something. The devil is a liar. You done broke the vision. You done made it plain. <laughs> But what he failed to realize, you took it into the secret place with the Father to get his stamp of approval. Rabbi Sheke. Come on here. You done wrote the vision. You done made it plain. But if you didn't write the vision, Without the stamp approval of the Father who gave it to you. Can I tell you something? You won't fail. You won't fail in this vision. Come on here. You won't fail in this vision. Can I encourage you on today? Let me tell you something. Jesus is our head coach in our training session. Are you hearing me? There are some things that the Father has strategically put on the inside of you and I in this fitness training. Lord have mercy. He has given us his stamp of approval. Are you hearing me? That's where the creativity comes out and you are doing things that you've never done before. Ah, Lord have mercy. It's that kind of day. Because I want to encourage you.
that the Father has not forgotten about the plans that he has for your life. According to Jeremiah 29 and 11, the Father knows the plans that he has for your life and mine. Let your healing come. I want to encourage you. I am a masatalaba kasataya. Rama yetelelaboko satalelama sianda. I want to encourage you on today. Menda bashete roboko saya. The Father wants to use you. Do you understand how much the Father wants to use you? Do you understand the magnitude of the Father want to use you? Lord have mercy help me daddy because they need to understand that you value them they need to understand that you have put your stamp of approval on their kingdom assignment they need to understand daddy There's no greater power than the power of the Father. You probably say, why is she screaming? Can Father hears the cries of his people? I am crying out that the Father come on Shatalabakasaya. Give you your heart's desire. He He give you your heart's desire because you are seeking after him. Because you are obeying him. Oh my God, have your way with your people. Uh, can I tell you, you have wrote the vision. Uh, you have made it plain. Uh, can I tell you that the Father, the Father, the Father is saying, my child, uh, I am pleased with what you have rendered unto me. Uh, you have done it unselfishly. Uh, reminded of the Asatala Mosiah. So now that you have done what I've called you to do, uh, you have gave up time. Rama Shekanabokosiah uh, to seek after me. Uh, I'm going to do something in your life uh, that nobody can take my glory. No man can steal God's glory on this next kingdom assignment. It is strategically ordered and ordained by the Father. However the Father says, do it, do it. However he says, say it, say it. However he says, write it, write it. However. The enemy wants you to think uh, that God can't use you, uh, but he's a liar. The Father himself uh, has qualified you uh, and equipped you for your kingdom assignment. Uh, tell that enemy to go back to the abyss. Uh, he has power, no power. His power is relinquished. Uh, matter of fact, he is dethroned. Uh, he is illegal in your kingdom assignment. Uh, who am I talking to? You're not a carbon copy of anybody. You are an original masterpiece of Jehovah Jireh, who is your provider. He is El 
Shaddai. He is God Almighty. Some know him as Yahweh. Some know him as Elohim. For I call down the fire of the Holy Ghost that will cover our lives in our kingdom assignment. You are equipped because the Father equipped you. You know your identity. You're not an identity crisis. The enemy is confused because now you know who you are. He's confused because you got bounce back resilience. He's confused because you got authority. He's confused because you got dunamis power. How did that activation come? It comes from the Father who's up in heaven. Oh God, supernatural manifestation of God's glory in your life. You better tell the enemy to back up because God has given you the authority, the triumph over serpents. Oh my God, he has given you his power to pull down those enemies in high places. Wickedness. Not in this season.
Come on here. Come on here. I'm waving. We got victory. Come on here. This is our victory way. We don't retreat. We don't retreat. Ah, yeah, my shit. Come on here. We don't retreat. We don't retreat. <laughs> Come on here. Come on here. Your home now can be a sanctuary. You've been called. I am the Asianda. Ah, the pandemic can't stop the flow of the Spirit. The I'm talking about the Spirit of God. Tonight, That's on your life. Come on here. Deposits in you tonight. That is intentional for you to be able to release it. Revelations 21, 22. Let me tell you something. When the Father is doing something in your life, the enemy has no power to overtake you. Uh, he can try, but he can't. So it's very important that tonight, for the rest of this night, that your focus... We have victory in Jesus. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Come on, so for a few moments, just... Center your focus. Every now and then I have to get my flags out. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Can I tell you something? God is strategically doing something in your life. Come on here. Let me tell you something. When the buildings open back up, you better be a walking sanctuary. This time should have been a time that God was creating in you a clean heart, renewing in you a right spirit. Come on here. The time that you've been spending with the Father seeking Him, are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. If you have not been seeking the Father in another way, not like the last time, Not like the last time. He wants something new and refreshing. Let me tell you something. Every time you get in the presence of the Lord, He should give you something new and download something refreshing in you fresh manner, fresh revelation. Are you hearing me? When you write the vision and you make it plain, you may have in the last season wrote it down and the father say I want to add something to what I put on the inside of you. Let me tell you something. I'm worshiping God. I'm thanking God. You know why? Because when you are in him, you are a something new happens in your life. You're not that of the old what you used to be. Let us see you. See you. Ah. My God. Some of us have allowed too many things to get in the way of us and the Father. Who am I talking to? How many have allowed so many things to get in the way of them and the Father? I'd be the first to say I did. But can I tell you something? You are here. When I allowed him you are to move it out the way, come on here. You are here. God did something new on the inside of me, you are which is refreshing, which is reviving, which brings life to my soul. You That's you. you are Let me tell you, you something. God has no respectable person. God wants to use you to bring life to another. It's so many things 
that the Father has given so you amazing. that will bring light to another. Wonderful you gotta do God. it. Oh, yes, you. He chose you God, we feel for a time you. such as this. You got to know you, the Father has you your back. He has your heart. Come on. And we focus on you. Listen, it's time for us to give him everything, which means all of us. Let me tell you something. The greatest thing that you and I can do. Is surrender our whole self to the will of the Father for our life. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. The Father loves you so much. He loves you and I so much. There is an audience out there that is waiting on you. Are you hearing me? They are waiting on you to get in your place. The time is now. No more waiting. No more waiting. No more waiting. The waiting season is over. It's, it's the right now. God wants to use you right now in your kingdom assignment. I'm like Paul. I beseech you. I beg of you to go head on and do what the Father has truly called you to do in the earth realm to make a difference in somebody else's life. Why? Because he has made a difference in your life and mine. We owe him. It's just that simple. We owe him. It's just that simple. <laughs> Come on. We, we, we on our way out with this one. Come on. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let's say it real loud together. You know the Father you loves us. Yes, He does. And His love for you us is so great. And when the Father's love is so great in your life, you can't help but love another. That's why today I celebrate you. Y'all thought this was about me. It's not. Has he been walking with you? And you talk with me. One more day. Because the father wants you to know how much he values you. I just said yes. I'll do it. Say that one more time. Oh, how you walk with me. And oh, how you walk with me. And let me tell you something. I love this relationship. I have gotten the greatest oh, joy on this journey with you. Hey. Why? Oh, you because I'm seeing daddy me. use people oh, that didn't think. They will qualify to do what they do, but the Father's using them. They come out of the box in their shell. And I congratulate you. I celebrate you. Let me tell you something. When you can celebrate others, you are successful. Success comes when you can celebrate somebody else's success. Let me tell you something. You are bad to the core. You are bad to the core. Go out there and get the people that the Father has sent you to. Those that he have assigned you to. Come on here. 
Come on here, you are bad something. Don't let nobody talk you out of your God-given purpose. By any means necessary, fulfill what the Father has said. You wrote the vision that the Father gave you. It's plain, executed. I celebrate you. I congratulate you. This day 44, we almost there. One more day. Congratulations. You have authority. It didn't come from me. It come from the Father. It came from the Father. We got the same Father. If we don't have the same Heavenly Father, the devil is our Father. Come on here. I celebrate you. Go celebrate somebody else. Say, listen, you a bad something. You got a purpose. You may not know it, but let me help you. That's what you do when the Father does something in your life. You want to share, just like the woman at the well. She had to go tell him. I met somebody who told me all about me. Are you hearing me? Come on here. Have we ever been at the well of desperation and despair? And the Father did something in our life. And so now we're going to run and tell everybody. I know a man who did something in my life. He can do the same for you. You are bad something. I like that part in that song. Say the fire didn't burn. The trials didn't burn you. Come on, it didn't burn me. It just preserved us. Listen. Today is day 44. We have one more day. I celebrate your kingdom assignment. I celebrate all that the Father is doing in your life. Let me tell you something. I don't think for one minute that I'm the only one that God is using. God is using you. Hallelujah. Share with somebody else the goodness of the Father. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You don't know whose life is being touched because you are executing the plan that God put in your life. Don't withhold yourself. It's some out there who want to hear your voice, who want that hug, who want that love that you have to offer. Don't withdraw yourself. Don't withdraw yourself. Let me tell you something. If I have withdrew myself and the Father didn't teach me how to love again, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. I want to encourage you that your, your, your purpose is so much greater than your pain. The Father loves you. I don't know no other way to put it. But the Father has you in mind. You have victory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You have victory. Let me tell you something. Even if it's one that their life is turning and changing because you, you obey God, do you know that the Father is pleased? Because can I tell you something? What I've discovered is that if you pour into that one's life, they will go back 
and pour into somebody else's life. Your labor is not in vain. If Jesus took two fish and five loaves of bread and fed thousands, do you not think that he can take you one vessel, feed another, that person feeds another, that person, are, are you hearing me? You are affecting a lot of lives. Are you hearing me? I'm going to give you this example. Not going to call this person's name or anything, but this, this just happened to me. And this person came to me and they said, Yo, yo, I want to thank you. I said, huh? I've been following you. I said, wow. The person, and it was a man, elderly. Elderly. And they said that we are being blessed because of what you're doing. And I'm standing there with tears in my eyes. Not because I think that I'm all of that. No. My prayer is always, Father, if I can reach one and their life is being changed and they love you more, then I know you will be glorified in my life. I know I'm talking to somebody because you're thinking, I got to pull a crowd. No, you don't. When that woman left the well, how many people did she go run and tell about a man who changed her life? And how many people did they go tell all you have to do is get in position and do your part. No part is insignificant when it comes to the kingdom of God. We all have a role to play. Because listen, there are people that I may not can reach, but you can. So, I have to encourage you as well as you encourage me. You're a bad somebody. Do your part. So that nobody will be left out. I'm in Texas. You may be in Africa. You may be in China. You may be in Georgia, Mississippi, Atlanta. Louisiana, hello, Miami, hello, Hawaii, Jamaica. Okay, I'm not in Jamaica, but you are. I'm not in Atlanta, but you are. So why not reach them? Because that one, wow is going to tell somebody, are you hearing me? So don't be discouraged. Execute the plan that God has for your life. You have wrote the vision, you have made it plain, right? Now execute it. So that's day 44. We have one more day to get through together okay listen the father loves you and so do I and I don't say that for cliche purposes because let me tell you something if I mishandle you 
then God is going to deal with me. And I don't know about you, I don't want to be dealt with by the Father. I want him to be pleased. And that's what you want, whatever you do, unto the Father. Do it with the right heart, right mindset, but most of all, the love of the Father. Because the love of the Father will bring change in somebody else's life. Execute the plan. All right? Remember this. You are fit for your kingdom assignment. You are bad somebody. Yes, you are. Go out there and get the souls that you're called to. You can cause an atheist to turn their life around and come back to the Father because you chose to obey God. All right? That's my time. I love you guys. We got one more day one more day and I'm telling you the father has been doing something amazing more so for me I'm growing in some areas spiritually that's what I wanted from the father and I know that he's doing something with you in your intimate time with him alright I love you guys get on your assignment